Glory be to God. What a beautiful day the Lord has made, and we are to rejoice and be glad in it. Reigning as kings, that's right, you have been enthroned. Just in case you do not know this, you have been enthroned, and you are to reign as kings as a child of God. I wanted to invite someone to join us at this moment. Let them come and be a part of this of today's teaching. I believe it's going to bless your heart is going to bless you as well. Let us pray. Father, I thank you, Lord, once again. Your faithfulness is unmatched. Your love is just indescribable beyond our imagination. Speak to us by your spirit today and let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Click on the share button. Invite someone to come on and join today's broadcast as we deal with this subject of reigning as kings. Romans 5 17 romans 5 17 says for if by one man's offense death reigned by one much more they which have received abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one jesus christ so he's telling us here that as 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 much as death reigned by one man Adam, so much more shall we reign in life in this life by that one man Jesus Christ. Now you have been destined to reign over every adversity. You have been destined to reign over every lack. You have been destined to reign over every destructive habit. That is limiting you from experiencing the success, the wholeness, and the victory that you have been destined or we are destined to enjoy. Now, this is not going to be about what you have to do or what you've, or what you've already done. It's not about what you must accomplish, but what has already been accomplished for you. So it's not about using your willpower to affect changes in your life, but it's, it's power bringing about changes in your life. So you can begin to start reigning right now over sicknesses, over financial lack, over broken relationships, over destructive habits as you open your hearts to every teaching I'm going to be giving during this broadcast. You know, there's have a confidence, having a confidence faith that nothing can stop or disturb your reign is very important. Nothing has the ability to stop you from reigning. Having that confidence. Because you have to believe that you are reigning into experience the reality of your rulership. You have to believe that you are reigning to experience the rulership of to experience the reality of your rulership and let's go to a scripture right here Ephesians 1 verse 20 to verse 24 it tells us here in, uh, in the New King James Version which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly places far above far above principalities and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age, but that which is also to come. 22. And he said, and he has put all things under his feet, and he gave him to be the head over to all of all things to the church, which is his body, and the fullness of him who feeds all and all. So here we can see from the scripture that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead and Jesus Christ is seated the Bible says us, he's seated right now at the right hand of the Father in the heavenly realm. Far above that's right, far above all rule, far above all authority, far above all powers and all dominion, and every name that is invoked, not only in this present age, but also in the one which is to come. And it tells us that everything, God has placed all things under his feet. Remember, you are the body of Christ. Everything has been placed under 
his feet, appointed Jesus Christ to be the head over everything for the church, which is his body, and the fullness of him who feeds everything. So now, Jesus Christ has been raised up from the dead and is seated in the heavenly places and is seated far above, very far above principalities. That means he's seated in a place of authority, in a place of dominion, in a place of reigning, in a place where adversity and lack and defeat has no rule over him. Not only is Jesus Christ sitting in that place, let me show you something else that will help you to understand why you really have to believe this. Now, the Bible tells us in Ephesians 2 verse 6, he said, 5 and verse 6, he said, even when you were dead in trespasses, he made us alive together. He made you alive together with Christ. By grace, you were saved. Look at verse 6. And raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That means where Christ is sitting right now, that's where you are. Are you following this? Ephesians 2 verse 6 tells us that God has made you, has raised you up together with Christ and he has made you to sit together in heavenly places. Made you to sit means that yeah, it, it, it's like compelling. So whether you like it or not, you're already sitting there. So the exercising your authority and reigning becomes optional. So you might be sitting in the heavenly places and begin to live like somebody who doesn't know where they are seated. So God said in his word, he have raised you up to sit with Christ in the heavenly places. And where Christ is sitting is far above principalities, far above darkness, far above up dominion and powers far above might so you are seated in a place of authority you are seated in a place of power you are seated in a place of dominion you are seated in a place of reigning you have been destined to reign to reign as king and actually you have been enthroned you have been enthroned you have been enthroned by God the moment you were raised up God enthroned you to sit together with Christ in the heavenly places and in that place you must exercise your authority you must exercise your rulership because if you don't exercise your rulership the enemy will try to mess with you whenever you you, you live below what you are supposed to live as a child of God now you may say but when you reign in life does it mean you have no challenges listen when you reign in life does it mean that you have no uh, challenges in your life now to reign in life you have to believe one you have to believe that you have been destined to reign you have to believe that you are seated with christ in the heavenly places it's not about how you feel it's not about what happens around you is that you have a reality and consciousness of where you are that you are seated with christ in the heavenly places that you are reigning with christ now the bible tells us here that that, that for you to reign in christ does not in absence of challenges now faith really comes with belief faith is belief in the word of god so you have to believe you have to have faith you have to have confidence in the word of god that you have been destined to reign and a matter of you are reigning in life now faith is not the absence of challenges but faith means depriving the challenges the right to reign or control your life i will say it again Faith or to reign in life is not the absence of challenges, but faith de means depriving the challenges the right to control your life. Now, faith is denying faith is denying the existence of the challenges to affect or to influence your life. Faith is denying the existence of the challenge to influence your life. That means when you are reigning in life, does not mean there will be no challenges. Because to reign in life, you reign, of course, you're going to apply faith to reign in life. And that means that no matter what comes your way, you deny that thing, you deny that thing, the right to have control over you because you are reigning. What, which means that because you reign in life through Jesus Christ, you do not allow circumstances of life to reign over you. I'll say it again. Because you reign in Christ through Jesus, you do not allow circumstances of life to reign over you.
Whenever, whatever you allow to rule over you shows that you are not exercising your authority and where you are positioned to be. So you have been enthroned. So you have to deny sicknesses the right to reign over you. You have to deny poverty the right to reign over you. You have to deny darkness the right to reign over you. That's right. You have to deny darkness the right to reign over you. You are the light of the world and the light is more powerful than darkness. Where there's darkness around you, you shine the brightest. You don't run away from darkness. You shine in dark places. So you are a reigning king. You are reigning on this earth. You are reigning in life and your rulership stems from heaven. You have control over darkness because you are reigning over darkness. You have control over sickness because you are reigning over sickness. You have control over poverty because you are reigning over poverty. You have control over lack because you are reigning over lack. Now this consciousness and the understanding of this would prepare you to your place of destiny you know as a reigning king on earth you deny the existence of life circumstances the right to reign over you you must deny it because you have been enthroned because you have been destined to reign i know you might be going through some stuff in your life like everybody tend to go through but you can decide because you are there because you are a reigning king because you are reigning on this earth you can make up your mind that you would not allow the circumstances of life to reign over you whatever controls you reigns over you what Ever, whatever occupy your mind and make you feel down reigns over you. Whatever make you feel like you've lost it all reigns over you. So you make up your mind as a child of God, you would not allow anything to reign over you because you are reigning in life. You are reigning in life, not just because you're reigning in life. The Bible tells us that you have been destined to reign to, to reign in life not just that you have been seated with christ together in the heavenly places when you fly in an aircraft and you look when you are up there in a high altitude and you look down everything below you is very minute so you look at life circumstances from your position you always want to be want to have the consciousness of your position in Christ. There are a lot of people who are so bogged down with their experience that they go through and they forget about their position. Your position is more important than your current experience. Your experience might detect differently but you enforce your position on your experience for your experience to line up with your position i'll say it again you must enforce your position on your experience for your experience to line up with your position don't change your position in christ because of your experience don't change your confession in christ because of your experience don't change your kingship in christ because of your experience no you allow your experience you allow your kingship you allow your position in christ to superimpose your experience and everything begins to line up because your position in christ is more important than whatever circumstances or the experience you have in life and this is important your your position in christ where you are in christ is far more important than what you experience today that's why you must not go through life by your experience of negative things in life you go through life by consciously knowing where you are positioned in christ i love what the bible tells us the bible tells us in first john chapter 4 verse 17 i believe it says as he is so are we in this world right now so his position Position in the heavenly places, we are also positioned right now in the heavenly places. Where Christ is, that is where you are right now. You, and I want to begin to focus more on your position than on your experience if your experience does not line up 
with your position and you have to enforce your experience to align up with your position as you super superimpose your position on your experience so you have been destined to reign you have been enthroned by god you are seated in seated with christ in the heavenly places and i want you to have that consciousness in your mind in your heart in your spirit and begin to walk in that reality don't allow anything else to change your thinking don't allow anything else to cloud your imagination i want you to begin to imagine you sitting up there in the realm of the spirit in the heavenly places and when difficulties come say difficulty you are under me because whatever you look at from above is very minute and looks very small so when you look at a problem from the place of authority from your position above it looks very small when you look at a sickness from the place of authority from your position above it looks very small so everything that does not line up with the word of god becomes very minute in your life are because you know where you are and where and the place you are is the place of authority is the place of dominion is the place of kingship and is a place of rulership man i am I'm sure you've been blessed by this teaching today. I want you to click on the share button, invite somebody to watch this with you again. And I know that your life and their life will not remain the same again. I'm going to continue with this tomorrow as I talk to you on how to reign in life. The how to reign in life. And I know you'll be blessed beyond your imagination as you know these things and live by it. Now, until we see you again, remember this, you have been destined to win and there is nothing the devil can do about it. Now, there is a link on your phone. You can support this ministry to, if it blesses you. When I mean support, really, I mean to sow into the ministry and that will actually bless your life. When you connect with the ministry like this, you are going to be reaping the benefit that, that God has provided to this ministry. Wherever you're watching this from, there's a link there. You can sow your seeds and be a blessing to your, gen your to your future generation as you connect with this ministry through, through your prayers, through sharing this video, and through your gifts. Now, until we see you again, remember, you have been destined to win and there is nothing the devil can do about it. Keep on walking by faith and not by sight. You have been enthroned. God bless you.